Today, I will try the functions of the website truepeoplesearch.com to show that how it works and you may be watched in the new digital world. Overall, it's clean and clear, easy to use. The site doesn't have obnoxious ads like a lot of other sites that keep running by online ads, no pop-ups or other garbage. Its layout is very similar like a Google homepage, but it does better than Google on people search. What I can do by the site? Let's do a quick demo. Top is the search box. Now I get person list with name John Smith. There is a short search summary information below search box. This search gets two, three, four people with name John Smith. An age filter on the right side. The search result shows a list of persons. Six records per page. Next page button on the bottom of the page. There are totally five online advertisements. Ads are on the left and the right side of the search result area. And also below the people list, it's a little more ads on this simple web page. I can narrow down the person list by age field. The result area shows a short list. The field function does do something. But obviously its record number is only a roughly estimated value. I can click next page to view more. Let's check the first John Smith in detail. Name on top, age, month of birth, year of birth. Here are a lot of detailed information of this person. Current address, a phone number list, each number marked wireless or landline. Email address, associate names, previous addresses, possible relatives, Possible associates, possible businesses. It displays a view four phone number button if the person has more than three phone numbers. View all email addresses button. View all addresses button. Please notice the button for background report available and view for background report are ads. All those ads buttons link to other side. The detail page totally shows six ads. I rarely click them because other sites are not free and no more useful information. Click the map button. It shows the address on Google Satellite Map. It lets me easily figure out how the residential area looks like. Quick demo by address. Let me do a reverse address lookup by Smith's address.
pearl we call found. It looks the least has no the person I got by name. And the record number is 11 after I click next page. Unstable. By the age, Jennifer L. Smith should be close to John Smith. Maybe they are couples. Or it's just one person with wrong name. The two names share same detailed personal information, email addresses, phone number, previous addresses. By the cross verification, I noticed people's information are not 100% accurate. The search service just do a proximate match on different people's last name address or something else. Quick demo by phone number. Let me find people by reverse phone. Only one record found. It looks Jennifer L. Smith should be the right name. Function summary. There are totally three functions. Search a person by name. Find one by reverse phone number. Look up people by address. There are two pages useful to us. One is the person list. Another is the person detail page. I can find myself by all three functions. Search my name, my address, and my phone number. Most information of detail page are correct. My wife is listed on possible associates, but I don't know some relatives' associates. To be noticed, if you do find the information is incorrect, there is no way to fake it.